Hello guys. In a past video I modified the angle of the camera to look more straightforward on a SEMA X5C quadcopter. Once it was done, I say to myself, what if I want to make a camera stabilizer or a steadicam for this one? Not bad. Good. I searched the internet for the solutions that are available but couldn't find something enough small and functional to fit this beauty quadcopter. Then I started to imagine a few possibilities, looking through my junk stuff and trying to fit things together and suddenly the inspiration struck. A mouse wheel. That's right. We will build a camera stabilizer from a mouse wheel. And probably it will be small and light enough and it will look something like that. We pull out the camera holder by gently prying it out in diagonal. And we open first two screws that hold the camera on the cover of the quadcopter. We leave the camera for a while and we move to the mouse's wheel. We try to get rid of anything is not useful for this project. This is the piece that the camera will be joined to. You can see I already made two holes. And here are the corresponded two holes made in the upper side of the camera's body and the piece of copper wire which will attach the camera to the stabilizer. Here is how it was supposed to come, but it was not a good idea because the wheel couldn't pass over the wire. So I got back to the good old double side tape and in the end it looked like this. Et voila! Now if you think that's it, well, a few modifications more are needed to the body of the quadcopter and there are quite a few. To make room for the stabilizer and to offer a point to attach it to the body, and be able to balance it, we need to remove the battery holder space. But wait, that holds also the main board. In my case, the problem was easy because I will suspend the main board on the top side of the body, process that was already rolling because I decided that I'd be able to use most kind of batteries, not just this tiny one that offers only 7 minutes of pleasure and after that turns into a bomb. If you don't want to make this modification, just keep this part to where I attach the stabilizer with elastics and you'll have to find your way of attaching those elastics without cutting or modifying the bottom side of the body. And figure out, I still can use the camera with the original cover holder. But now it's time to attach the stabilizer to the quadcopter and see how it looks. And why not? See how it moves. See that the elastics are acting as a damper also. Well, I think it moves pretty well. That was a camera stabilizer from a mouse wheel. And thanks for watching.